Gaurav, uh, getting a word in from you on this, on the Pakistan angle, the ISI toolkit that could be at play. You know, looking at all those scenarios we discussed, Gaurav, if it was indeed the gangster nexus that bumped off, uh, uh, if it was the Pakistan ISI that had him bumped off, that's one thing. If the gangster nexus had bumped off, then it's not surprising to see how Pakistan wants to get involved to try and manage the perceptions. And they may have had a hand in trying to get India blamed for it. That would be a very desperate attempt. But Shiv, these are, you know, what happened before, what happened after in the form of killing of Sukhdul Singh and the fact that there is an apprehension not just in Canada but also in the United States of America because a lot of these gangsters, they, you know, Khalistan is just the brand. Khalistan is just the name. The industry that they run is extortion. The industry that they run is human trafficking. The yeah. industry that they run is actually drugs. Khalistan is just the cover so that nobody touches them. Authorities in America will not touch them. Authorities in Canada will not touch them at all. And in some countries in Europe, action is very, uh, you know, restricted. So that is why they claim that they're all freedom fighters for Khalistan. Mm. They're actually extortionists and terrorists and, uh, you know, uh, people who are indulging in human trafficking. And we've seen that. We've seen that in the form of Siddhu Musawala being killed in India. We've seen that in the form of Sukhdul Singh being killed in Canada. Shiv, the apprehension is that this will set off a chain reaction and will have a domino effect. So if mm. one gang kills members of the other gang, the other gang will hit back and it is, it will, even for these gangsters and mafia, it will be down to the mattresses and America and Canada yeah. will unfortunately either have to take action against these elements or pay a price for it. It's, uh, you know, it's being done very effectively and that's the reason why the entire world now perceives Canada as a country that has condoned terrorist and gangster violence, a nexus that most people didn't even know about has become an everyday reality in the mainstream media. That is the truth of it. Nobody can manufacture this stuff. These claims being made by Nijjar's own son, not by some third party. It's a story that has become hugely bigger with each passing day. We're on day nine. Tomorrow is going to be day 10. And who knows what else it will bring. Gaurav, thanks very much as always. We're going to continue to track that story very closely here.